Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. It's been a quiet end of the weekend so far. We have little, if anything, in the way of major problems to talk about. Tomorrow morning, as you go towards school for the teachers and the kids heading back to the classroom, again, maybe looking at the possibility of a few stray sprinkles out there, but that's really going to be about it. Some pretty good weather, actually, for the early part of the week. Again, some sunny skies out there. You can read the forecast in the bottom portion of your screen, the blue bar scrolling on by, or you can go to wreg.com slash weather for the complete forecast update there. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at some of your weather pictures and more about what we're going to be seeing throughout the rest of the next several days as we get a little bit closer to Thanksgiving. And the good news for travelers around this area of the country is that things are looking pretty quiet for right now. Whether or not it stays that way in the next 10 days, well, we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your locations, city, state, and your weather reports into the comments section. Temperatures, uh, rainfall amounts from the last couple of days, Anything like that, let me know, and we'll read those off as we go along throughout the rest of Sunday evening. But again, a decently quiet end to the weekend for right now, and not seeing any other major problems out there uh, for the time being. We're going to be on a little late tonight, thanks to the NFL, so the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 will be at about 10.47 or so. So this will be, again, your early evening update as to what's going on across much of the Mid-South area. Quick check of the forecast in to overnight. Again, it will be brisk at the bus stop for the kids in the morning as temperatures will be back into around the lower 40s for the most part. Again, we're not looking at anything the way of really frozen conditions out there, but again, a jacket or a coat would be a good idea. Winds occasionally a little more than about five miles per hour, but otherwise not bad and not seeing too much out there uh, in the way of frozen precipitation or fog or anything like that. So that's definitely good news uh, at this point in time. So good news again for most of the area for travel into early. Todd Demers will have more on his forecast starting at 4.30 tomorrow morning. So make certain to tune in for that. High temperature today of 58. It was close to normal, but just below normal again for the entire weekend. Again, we should be at about 62, way below normal. Hit freezing officially today, so some freezing fog concerns early Sunday morning. 43 is our normal low temperature for the day. 17, the record low that has not been broken since 1880. Came pretty close with the cold temperatures a couple of about a week or so ago as that colder air blasted its way into the Mid-South, but that's been a record that stood for a long period of time. At 84, the last time we saw a record high way back in about 1958, no precipitation overnight. So good news on that. Mississippi River displays doing their job and brightening up the night skies around the downtown area. Big River Crossing on the right and Mighty Lights display on the I-40 bridge on the left. Good visibility. Lights of West Memphis, Arkansas showing up on the horizon. Not much in the way of fog for this evening. So, again, decently quiet again out there and good visibility for uh, right now. So looking again at some pretty quiet conditions across uh, much of the area for tonight. Should be good into tomorrow morning with some partly cloudy skies out there. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. Storm system just passing through the Mid-South area. This thing has been moving in across the continent for the last few days, and it's surrounded by a few clouds and a little bit of moisture here and there, but this is not a powerfully loaded with moisture system from either the Pacific or the Gulf of Mexico. So all the moisture this thing has with it, it brought with the system from the Rockies and the Pacific, and this is all that's left. So there's really hardly anything else out there to give us any rainfall for tonight. A little bit drier conditions out there. We may see, again, those breaks in the clouds stick around throughout the rest of the evening as that front passes on through. But when it comes to rainfall and moisture, we really have little, if anything, taking place for right now. We are seeing again a few sprinkles taking place from southeast Missouri on Storm Tracker 3S radar over parts of northwest Tennessee, east of Dyersburg, north of Jackson. You may pick up some raindrops there and of course some updated areas of showers up to the east of St. Louis and into around portions of the area close to around southern Illinois for tonight, but otherwise not looking at too much of anything in the way of really heavy amounts of rainfall out there. 
And here's the cool thing, no pun intended, no snowfall being seen, uh, no frozen precipitation at this point in time. So looks like we're not seeing too much of anything in the way of a major problem again uh, for the right time at this point. So looking again at not much to show there. Chilly this evening, temperatures in Tunica already dropping into around the uh, mid to upper 30s, otherwise lower to mid 40s across much of the area for right now. Uh, Celia Horton Lair, 42 in Henderson, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that weather report. Debbie Tuller, Savannah, Tennessee, 43 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Christopher Wells at Jackson General Hospital just had a baby. Congratulations. Uh, thanks a lot for the report on that right there. Judy Baker in Dyer, Tennessee, going to Oxford, Mississippi. What's the weather like there? We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. Uh, so stay tuned for more on that. And everybody else checking in, Andrea Rovine Ellingberg. Screen's a bit blurry for some reason. Uh, not too sure why that is. Thought I cleaned off the screen about a month and a half ago, but uh, looks like it might need a bit of a polish, but we'll see what we've got going on there. Thanks to everybody for the reports out there. Running the numbers overnight. Numbers, again, will be brisk, again, a bit on the chilly side all the way on through as through News Channel 3 at 10, late edition and afterwards, mid-40s. Midnight should be into the lower 40s across much of the area, but the chances that rainfall we're seeing off to the east continues to move off to the east into middle Tennessee and beyond, and we should catch a little bit of a break where the rainfall is concerned, what rainfall there is anyway. There's not going to be that much of it, if anything, because of that very dry atmosphere. But tomorrow morning around daybreak, we start to see more chances of rain heading our direction as we get into the later portions of Monday morning. And right around afternoon, we see that potential of scattered showers in the Mid-South. Again, light activity, but still possibility of, of a bit of a problem as the kids get out of school. So maybe some rain protection as the kids come back home from school tomorrow, but we're not talking about a deluge in any sense of the imagination uh, at this point in time. Dana Armstrong Russo, what time is the meteor shower? Uh, the best time to see it is going to be the Leonid meteor shower will be overnight tonight, especially through about uh, overnight past about midnight tonight through about 3 o'clock in the morning. The only trouble is we've got a waning gibbous moon, which is going to be rising here in about two to three hours, and the bright light of the moon is going to drown out a lot of the meteors for tonight. So, And also there's going to be more cloud cover out there, so we're going to see maybe some partial ability to see the meteors for this evening, but not great chances, unfortunately, with the clouds and the moon and the possibility of the scattered light showers out there tonight. Not great meteor viewing conditions, unfortunately, so it'd be nice, but it doesn't look like we'll see that for right now. Thomas Sanders' phone says 48 degrees in Ripley, Tennessee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sanders' phone, for that report uh, at this point in time, and everybody else checking in uh, from around the Mid-South area, wherever you happen to be, or from outside the Mid-South as well. Heading home tomorrow night, could be a, a few raindrops on the windshield. Not seeing a lot of problems out there for right now, but again, should be decently quiet all the way into the next couple of days with, again, those chances of sprinkles off and on through portions of the Mid-South. Again, chances of rain tomorrow, not great, but they will be around the area off and on, and again, into tomorrow, not getting rainfall for everybody but it will be possible here and there across much of the area again. A little bit milder on Tuesday with that isolated chance of a shower sticking around, but temperatures very close to their November normals for this time of the year. Even warmer, and we'll get rid of the rainfall at least early on Wednesday. And then as we go into Wednesday evening, that's where the chances of rain start to pick back up again post-sunset and in tune around the area of Wednesday night, Thursday morning, but once again, we're seeing temperatures again too warm for anything but rainfall. Thursday into Friday, more chances of rain. Could be some thunderstorms on Thursday. Again, a little bit warmer, a little bit more elevated energy levels in the atmosphere. So Thursday could see some rumbles of thunder. Cooler on Friday, cooler on Saturday with that chance of rain coming on through. And again, looking at least a little bit better as we go into and around the area of Sunday doesn't look like next weekend will be a total washout, but there will be that chance of showers lingering around on Saturday, possibly into around very early on Sunday morning, and that's going to be about as good as it gets 
again for right now. So anybody hitting the roadways, getting the weekend off right before we hit the Thanksgiving week, doesn't look like it'll be too bad for travel here. Likewise, looking good for travel in the extended format, looking toward the area right before Thanksgiving. Temperatures decently mild, no major severe weather, no winter storms heading our direction. So, so far, if you're planning on hitting the road or you have relatives and friends heading into the Mid-South, that looks pretty good. Now, as usual, there is going to be the possibility of some interruptions, some headaches with the weather outside of the Mid-South, but here in the area, things are looking pretty good as we go right on into Thanksgiving, so it doesn't look too bad, again, for the time being for right now. Shelly Roberson, anything severe for Thursday? Doesn't look like it right now. Again, the extended uh, format from the Storm Prediction Center is not showing anything, but at this time of the year, anything between October and early December, that's storm season number two for the Mid-South, and we can get some pretty nasty storms in here, so that's something we are going to have to watch. But right now, there is no forecast for any severe weather coming up as we go into Thursday, so good news on that. Sharon Wright Shield, you're welcome. Thanks for stopping on by. Do appreciate uh, everybody looking at things. 21 in Philly, Elizabeth Maldonado. Uh, thanks a lot for checking in from uh, back around Philly for tonight as well. Harmontown, Mississippi, feels good. Shelly Roberson, thank you very much uh, for that one. And Bonnie Cummins, 38 degrees in Crenshaw, Mississippi. Haven't been da back down that direction. Talked to a school about 10 years ago in that area, but that was about it. Coastal Storm, again, making its way or at least trying to, head upwards around the East Coast area. And it is going to be making progress up the East Coast, swirling around here, becoming a nor'easter. High pressure well to the north of this is blocking this thing from moving up and out. So as long as that high pressure cell is north of us into Canada, this thing is not going to move that far that fast. So anything between the Carolinas and, say, Boston, back up to around Maine, could be seeing some maybe not favorable traveling conditions in the near future. So this is where we're going to be seeing some possible travel headaches going into Monday. Nor'easters, again, decently strong systems. It is not a tropical system. The National Hurricane Center is not officially keeping an eye on this, but it could stick around to cause some problems. So windy, rainy, high tide conditions around the Carolinas and north up to about Maine and Massachusetts. So that can be something to look for if you're heading that direction as we go into the early part of this next week. Now beyond that nor'easter, we've got another system out in the Atlantic. It is getting stronger, and there is some possibility of maybe getting a tropical depression out of this as we get into the early part of this next week. But it's not looking great. Better, yes, not great. As the storm system heads on up, the cold front that's heading through our area right now and part of that nor'easter that's making its way out is going to help to focus this back to the north. So it does not look like it's going to be a threat to the continental United States, the Bahamas, the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, if it curves upwards into this area here, this is some pretty cold water. Uh, this is where we see, again, the icebergs making their way southward. So eventually, as this goes up toward the North Atlantic, less and less energy available for this to form into anything. So it doesn't look like a threat for right now. And nothing, again, forming in the Caribbean, the Gulf, or the Western Atlantic for us to be concerned about. And as of right now, for tonight, we've got a little less than two weeks until the end of hurricane season 2019. So we're almost at the end of another hurricane season out there. Quick checking in. Again, air quality was good today. Should be good again as we go into tomorrow. So hopefully, again, looking okay in the Mid-South where it comes to pollutants, things like ozone gas and everything else settling in there. So definitely good news on that. Coming up in about a half an hour on my Facebook page, we'll take a more detailed look at whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving around the United States, or around the world in the military in some form or fashion. We'll take a look at some locations where the United States troops are serving. South Korea this evening or Monday morning, uh, right before lunchtime, temperatures in the 40s and 50s with a lot of clouds over the Korean Peninsula at this time, and pretty chilly around Seoul and DMZ, 42 degrees in Seoul, 43 in Chuncheon, 
and temperatures in the 50s throughout the rest of the country. We'll tell you where to get this information for free, and that'll be coming up again on my Facebook page at about 8.50 later on this evening. Joey Fortner, 32, thank you very much for a very cold check of the temperatures last week as that blast of Arctic air moved on through the area. Raising girls from 38002 up around the Arlington zip code. If my math is any indication there, uh, some wintry precipitation on the car windshields as those winter area weather patterns moved on through the Mid-South. Dean C586, nice view of some street clouds or cloud streets lined up alto cumulus clouds looking back towards sunset. The Hernando de Soto Bridge from the Auction Street Bridge last week. A very nice capture on that at sunset, so thank you for that one. And from this morning, Linda P. Coleman. Nice view of sunrise light from Olive Branch. Appreciate all the submissions out there via Twitter and however else you manage to get it here. If you've got any pictures, we'd love to see them so that we can show them on our webcast like this. If you don't subscribe to a lot of these social media pages, you can take the old-style route and email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd love to see these pictures and share them around, but we can't show them if you don't send them, so you kind of see the problem we're running into on that. All right, one more check of the forecast as we go into tomorrow morning. Brisk, not quite breezy, partly cloudy skies into tomorrow morning, and numbers again heading back up to around the lower 50s. Dribbles of rainfall around the Mid-South, but we're not going to put them in the forecast here because we're looking at very slight chances of rainfall into tomorrow. Better chances will be coming up again by afternoon and evening, about the time the kids are heading home from school and into dinner time tomorrow. But morning, mainly just partly cloudy skies, a few drips here and there, but really not much more than that as we go throughout the course uh, of the rest of the evening. So not really looking at too much in the way of major months of things out there. Thanks to everybody for the compliments out there. Glad to bring the uh, weather information to you for tonight and every night that we possibly can. Again, this is our effort to get you involved in the weather. And if you have any questions about things, again, offering the opportunity to ask about what goes on out there. Again, we'll be on late with the news tonight. Thanks to NFL Doubleheader, we're going to be about 47 minutes late on the 10 o'clock news. So join us for the late edition at about 1047 this evening. And, of course, Todd Demers will have more on the forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That'll start at 4.30 uh, in the morning. And, of course, I'll have the late edition of Weather Overtime coming up on my Facebook page with Weather Where the Troops Are in about a half an hour or so from about right now, so stick around for a lot more there. Live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee, USA. Thanks to everybody for joining us from wherever you happen to be for tonight. More on the forecast tonight on the late edition and more coming up with Todd Demers on Daybreak Tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for Sunday evening's Weather Overtime.